So, for lab supplies, you want to have a lab table, and in place of that, I have this nice little uh, piece of cherry wood. Uh, you're going to have various masses to add weight to your cart and to the end of your string. You're going to have strength. You're going to have a cart, and notice, on my cart, I put a little piece of masking tape here so that I can have a very clear point to point at in the video analysis. And you're going to have this clamp-on pulley that'll clamp onto the end of your lab bench. Now, you're going to set this up by tying a mass to the end of your string, by adding weight to your cart, and making sure you get a solid mass on this cart, because that is going to factor into all of your calculations. If you haven't, not, if you haven't factored this in, your answers are not going to be anywhere near correct. So, I've got five, five 100 gram masses here. My cart is about 50 grams. I've got a 50 gram mass on the end of my string, and I'm going to add five more 50 gram pieces to my cart so that I can do a good solid five trials. So I'm going to attach this string down here, let this drop, put it in position here. So, 50 grams, 500 grams, 250 grams, plus the cart being 50 grams, that's going to give me about 850 grams. And remember, when we're working with F equals MA, we're working in kilograms, so I'm going to have to go ahead and convert that over. So all of my masses, since in this trial I'm doing a constant mass, are going to be 0.85 kilograms. So I'm going to go ahead and write that in. And in each of my trials, I'm going to be using a 50 gram mass and then adding another 50 grams onto it. So I'm going to start with a 0 0.05 times G, and then I'm going to have a 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.15, 0 0.2, and a 0.25. And I would have to remember for myself to convert these into a force, because these right now or in kilograms, that's just the mass that's on the end of my string. So to perform this activity, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull my cart backwards, and very exciting, so exciting. I've got it prepped and ready to go, and I'm just going to release it and let it roll. Nice and slow, nice small acceleration. There we go. Uh, remember, you guys are gonna to wanna to take multiple videos. I have done this before, so I do not feel the need to. We're going to go ahead and add another mass to the end of this string. So now, this is trial number two, I have 0.1 kilograms on the end of my string, but the total mass of my system is still at a constant 0.85 kilograms. So I'm going to set it up just the same way. Here we go, here we go, and voila, and then I'm going to let it go. That was a significant change. Okay, trial number three. I'm gonna add one more 50 gram mass at the end of my string. And then I'm just gonna let it go. All right, trial number four. Bring the total to 0.2 kilograms at the end of my string. Still have a constant. Uh, 0.85 kilograms in my system. Both masses on the end of the string and masses in the cart. Okay. So now, you get faster and faster. All right, I can, I can feel it actually tugging on me at this point, so let's go. Very quick. Okay, last trial, trial number five. Let's go ahead. Uh, and you guys are going to have uh, more sensitive masses than 50 grams, so you won't have, uh, have to deal with this huge significant change. Be able to have a, a little more uh, gentle curves on your slopes. However, I don't have as many materials at home. Okay, so then, trial number five. That is 0.25 kilograms on the end of the string. That's 0.85 kilograms total. 
I have not added any mass or subtracted any mass from this system. So now let's let it go and get our final reading. There we go. All right. So now that I've got all of my trials and I've got a video for all of them, I would take this video over to my video analysis or I would do it on my phone and I would get my readings for acceleration. And then I would take my force and my acceleration and I would put it into a graph, graphing force, or graphing acceleration versus force. Perfect.